NASA has launched its first space probe to study the fossils of the solar system. The Lucy probe is heading out to the orbit of Jupiter to study two groups of asteroids that run in swarms ahead of and behind the gas giant. Aruna Iyengar has this report. Three, two, one, zero. The Lucy probe is on its way to Jupiter. Lift off. Atlas V takes flight. Sending Lucy to one. It's on a 12-year mission to study asteroids called Trojans, left over from the beginning of the universe. So what are the Trojan asteroids? They're asteroids that orbit with Jupiter around the sun that ultimately hold the clues to the formation of our solar system. The Lucy probe will visit eight Trojans, city-sized lumps of rock. We'll really better understand all about the asteroids. So if you only see one, you, maybe you got sort of a bit of a funny one, right? But by seeing eight, you get to really understand what's going on in this population. The probe is named after the fossil Lucy, discovered in Africa in 1974, which taught us about where our species came from. This new mission takes inspiration from that name. Scientists are hoping it will show us proof of a massive reorganisation of matter shortly after the solar system's formation. Aruna Iyengar, BBC News. Well, I've been speaking to one of the scientists on the mission, Dr Carly Howitt. Understanding where we came from is a very complex puzzle, right? It, it's not something that's answered with a single piece. And Lucy can contribute to that by understanding a little bit more about the Jovian Trojan asteroids. So these, these asteroids, we think, were there at the birth of our solar system. They're primordial. They haven't changed. And so by understanding what they're made from, we understand a little bit more about where they might have formed. Did they form in the Kuiper Belt, which is near Pluto? Or did they form where Jupiter is right now? And understanding that difference will enable us to test our theories of model uh, solar system formation. And that will enable us to better understand how Earth came to be the way it is right now.